you're into horse racing, right? Yes. Have you had the chance yet, or are you going to try and see if you can see a bit of horse racing whilst you're here? Um, no, because it's not my type of uh, races and horses, but uh, I, I want to see the horses because this is the best, this is the best of the horses that probably. So that you'll definitely see some beautiful horses? Uh, I think I don't have time to be honest, but maybe one time. Alright, we'll, we'll, try, we'll try and find you a horse race somewhere. Okay, thank you. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Nicola. Thank you. Nicola, you had a summer, you had a summer where you played in the Olympics as opposed to the summer when you don't do that type of thing. Did that sharpen your game? How does your stamina with taking that into consideration? I mean, we'll see. I think the last time I played in the national team, we won the championship, so that doesn't really uh, affect I think, my stamina. Maybe I'm getting I'm being, I'm being in a better shape, so we will see when the season starts or maybe when the season ends. Since you've been here in Abu Dhabi, what would be the most you've done for you? I mean, uh, how they greet us when we welcome, uh, when, when, we, when we came uh, to Abu Dhabi. Of course, the Falcons, of course, yesterday, Desert. I mean, just the, how, how welcome we feel here. So, it's, uh, it's, uh, they're really, really good host. Well, obviously, you and Novak Djokovic are two of the most famous Serbian athletes at the moment. I'm wondering, with Novak being 37 years old, doing everything he's still doing, do you aspire to play at that age and be that dominant at that age? I mean, I mean, I think you need to be really uh, in a great shape and really focused uh, on your body. And uh, of course, motivation is something that uh, motivation is something that uh, you always need to have. And uh, probably he's chasing the. The, not the legacy, maybe the greatness, you know. So he's he's especially he's a special person. He's a special athlete. Um, he represents our country at a really high level for such a long period of time, and uh, we all feel like we are in one moment. We are now Djokovic, uh, just how just how he represents us well, and uh, we think we are like him. You know, we are one of the best uh, in the world. And how do you see your role then? Do you, do you see yourself? Not even close. <laughs> uh, Nikola, uh, nije prošlo mnogo vremena posle završetka olimpijskih igara, već su počele pripreme. Kako naći motivaciju za svaku novu sezonu, što se kaže da guraš iz početka, iz početka? Uh, pa, da, otvori, imao sam vremena, imao sam mesec i pol dana, tako da sam tiko malo da se odmorim i trenirao sam, ali ovaj, uh, mislim da više tu nema motivacije nekako, mislim da to deo je posla, moraš, ovaj, uh -huh. tako da je motivacija nešto što dolaze sigurno možda sa utrknicama, sa nekim dostignućima ili sa nekim naprimjer, pobedima u nizu, tako da mislim da neke motivacije dolaze i u toku sezone, ne samo u presezone. Ako mogu da pitam, uh, kako s ove distance gledaš na onu polufinalnu utrknicu sa Amerikancima, Reklo bi se da je postala istorijska šansa da se dobio onako jak. Da, ovaj, bila je, bila je bila dobra utakmica, sigurno je jedan sigurno najveći poraz u mojoj karijeri ovaj, do sada. O, velika šansa, ali eto, ovaj, na kraju, na kraju se uspobjedili. Na kraju ka, neki će ljudi gledati kao normalan poraz za nama koji smo igrali sigurno je jedan najteži poraz u karijeri. Znači, Aleksa i Bogdan su rekli da čak i ne veruju u Svetislavu Pešiću da će otići, žele da ostane, šalju mu poruke. Kako je tvoje mišljenje, šta ti smatraš? Po ne znam, ovaj, ja sam, ja sam sa, 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 sa trenovom uvek u dobrim odnosima i ovaj, normalno želim da ostane, ovaj, tako da mislim da je to na njemu, a ne na nama. Tako da ćemo, mi ćemo sigurno, ako vam se elektrom, da dam mu sve sebe ovaj na trinu a ako odluči da ovaj da ne preuzme ili da ne nastavi mislim da ćemo svakako da, da ga podržimo jer ovaj mislim da je radio za ovih par godina veliku veliku stvar za našu pošarku. Nikola, when you look at this year's team, how different will it be from the when you left off with Minnesota with the new players? I mean every every year is different, every every year every year is a new player a new players uh, uh, you know, sometimes one player can make a big difference. Sometimes, you know, just just uh, you will see the, the the chemistry, the flow, the the season. You, you never know. You know, it's it's really tough to say. But uh, I think we have a good group of guys. We have a uh, some guys that uh, came back from injury. Some guys that we add. Uh, some guys with a really good IQ. So I mean, hopefully we can do something. Hola. The president of uh, European Powerhouse, Bahnagos Dimitris Yanakopoulos, told yesterday that uh, you are his uh, favorite player. What's your comment? I mean, it's a, thank you, it's amazing, you know, I, I, I try to follow the league as much as possible and uh, of course they won a year last year, 
so you know, it's a, do they? Yeah, do they. So congrats on that, and uh, you know, he's something. He's uh, somebody that we kind of putting the media to the Euroleague. So he's, I think, he's doing a good job, and uh, uh, to to make your league a bigger team. I'm just wondering, is how, how, how much do you follow that league and do you think that will help the basketball in this country? I mean, uh, to be honest, I, I, I think it's a great thing for the country and for, for the basketball. And I think the, the basketball should and need to be uh, ex much more extended. Uh, I have I have a couple of friends that play in, in Dubai, so uh, they say it's a good organization. They say everything is perfect, so hopefully, hopefully they can, uh, they can uh, extend the basketball even in this country. Well, how has Russell Westbrook been integrating into the team? What conversations have you had with him? I mean, he's always a positive, great, great teammate, positive uh, uh, on the court, off the court. He was uh, marking the perfect right now, so hopefully he's going to do the same thing the whole season. And how much this last season, the way the last season ended, motivate you going into this season? Um, zero. Your chance before, and that you can do it. Zero, zero. My loss doesn't motivate me. I mean, it's uh, it's uh, they always say it's really tough to win a championship again. I think it's really tough to win a championship any, anyhow, you know. So especially after after going through so much emotions uh, after after winning a championship, the season was. Uh, Seemed like we didn't have a break, but it just feel a little longer, and maybe we were tired, tired maybe we were not. So um, I think that just uh, we should we should enjoy more the winning the championship because most really good teams uh, never won a championship. So uh, I think we are, we're supposed to be happy that we won a championship, and uh, everything more is just an extra. Ja ću samo ja imam i srebra iz, iz Rija, tako da ovaj, kako da kažem, osvojio sam neku, kažem, veću stepnicu medalje. Uh, Sigurno za kad igraš nacionalnim tim je drugačije osjećaj, treba svoj grad, svoju porodicu, svoje drugari u jednom momentu poznaš, do, dođeš kući i ljudi pozdravljaju te na ulici, tako da je drugačije, ovaj, drugačije totalno osjećaj kad igraš na reprezentaciju za, za klub. Sigurno NBA je do naj... Drugačije vrsta takmičenja NBA je duga sezona gdje igramo preko 100 utakmica dok je olimpijski igra neke turbi koje je bukvalno sastavljeno špet še sajma utakmica, zavisi koliko dogoraš, tako da je to je totalno je, kako da kažem, drugačije, drugačije vrsta, drugačije vrsta turnira, osjećaja i svega. Proslava je bila kultna, kako si gledao na to što je utakmica i igrano u 11 časova yes, i onda je bilo mnogo vremena da bilo se slavi. Je čudno, bilo je čudno, ovaj, tako, ali eto, postavili smo kako treba i kako doliko, ja mislim. Hvala. Hvala.